So, I'd like to kind of finish the story from the light of the clear blue morning. Even when it was occurring, which was a fall three years ago, uh, it just had a, a kind of a strange feel to it. A feel that it, it was going to last for a while. A feeling that, uh, that we weren't going to forget it. Every one of us that was a part of the experience, uh, it just had a specialness to it at the time. Uh, this was fall, and then in the spring, uh, the person who sang the solo, her name's Lindsay, and at the time, I think she was 28, and uh, really a wonderful singer, a wonderful person that, that made every situation kind of more buoyant, more happy, more joyful. And uh, so she found out that she had a tumor uh, in her brain, and uh, it ended up that um, the only way to kind of deal with it was through all kinds of chemotherapy and radiation. And she struggled, and she fought it with a great attitude. She came back and sang with the festival singers in the fall of the next year and had a great attitude. And, you know, she couldn't practice all day and then sing at night, so she practiced as much as she could. Still made us laugh. Uh, she had a saying that was kind of like a button that said, it is well with our soul, with my soul. And uh, she just had that attitude through everything she did. In the spring of that year, she was unable to perform with us because uh, she was so far along in, uh, in the growth of the tumor that she was unable to, to do things like that. She came to the concert, and after the concert, she could have talked to me about things like, oh, it was just so fun to hear your choir. And it was so fun, you know, and I'm sad that I wasn't there. And all of those things that she could have said, but she didn't. She, she said, Dr. Fenton, you know, as they were singing, they were kind of buried in their music. And, and I didn't see the message being, you know, really uh, sold by them. I didn't see that collective story happening. And she challenged me in that moment. She, first of all, she gave me permission to be passionate, to be committed to excellence, and, uh, and, and to be committed to, to my art. She gave me permission for all of those things in that little conversation that ended up being our last conversation. Uh, at this time, last year, I was in uh, Queen, uh, Montreat, um, North Carolina, and I received a call. And they said, uh, we don't know how long Lindsay's gonna make it, and we would really like the choir to be a part of her memorial service. And she passed away soon after that. And this song, you know, Light of a Clear Blue Morning, they, that reveals Lindsay's heart. And just think of the comfort that it's given to her friends, her family. You know, every time they think and miss Lindsay, they can remember this person who saw with hope a light of a clear blue morning. You know, there is a place beyond. And so, uh, so the story that we tell, every time we perform, it can have a life long uh, and it can go even beyond life. And so what we do in the world of art, it is that important. Lindsay told us that. So that is my talk. Thank you.